move on to our licensure committee and for that I will turn the chair over to the head of our licensure committee, Sharon Carroll, please. I'm sure with that I would like to call that to give us direction. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, my name is Catherine Orr. I think we have all become acquainted. <laughs> At this juncture, um, the board has before it an internal matter of determining whether a recommendation for reprimand that has been advanced to you by the Office of Public Instruction should um, go to a full hearing or whether um, the board considers the matter closed as having been taken care of on a local level in this regards the recommendation of the reprimand of a gentleman named Mr. McGee. And I think you have in your packet um, the recommendation letter of the Office of Public Instruction and you also have a letter that was sent to Mr. McGee and his response concerning basically uh, his explanation of the facts and his defense. He is not here today. I, I have uh, spoken with his attorney and um, he is not here today because he understands that this is basically a, 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 a sort of a in-house, if you will, uh, determination by the board of what it wants to do and he also understands through his attorney that if it goes to a contested case hearing he would obviously have the opportunity to present his full case and his recommendation for his uh, remedy if you will so I'm available for questions and I'll come and sit at the table and um, does anyone have a question at this point? Have the board members had a, had a chance to review the packet that Ms. Orr is referring to now? Do the board members have a chance, had a chance to review the packet? Are there any questions you may have for Ms. Orr regarding procedure? We were given um, the administrative rules that apply in this case. And so I might review um, that just real briefly. 1057601B says, upon receipt of a request made pursuant to 20-4-110 and administrative rule 1057601, and for the purpose of complying with 20-4-110, the Board of Public Education shall review the allegations that's what we're being asked to do here today, to determine whether or not a substantial reason exists to hold a hearing for the issuance of a letter of reprimand or the suspension or revocation of the educator specialist license. This review shall include notifying the affected licensed educator specialist of the charges against the ed educator by certified mail and allowing the educator slash specialist 10 days to respond to those charges. After reviewing a response, receiving a response, the board may request further information to ensure the preliminary review properly reflects the facts and positions of each party. The, what's referred to here in 1057-601 is that um, Ten fifty seven six zero two says, on the basis of the preliminary review conducted, the Board of Public, Public Education shall determine whether or not a substantial re reason exists to hold a hearing to issue a letter of reprimand or to suspend or revoke the educator specialist license. If the board determines that no substantial reason exists to hold such a hearing, the matter is ended. Part B is, if the board determines that there is substantial reason to hold a hearing, 
The board shall provide notice of the pending action to the licensed educator specialist by certified mail not less than 30 days prior to the date of the hearing. Such notice shall include, and there are um, items defined there about what it means to include. So I think, Patty, was that what you were asking us to briefly review there? And a reminder that the discussion right now is only about the process, not about um, any of any of the uh, substance. Yeah. So, any comments from board members about the process, Ms. Orr? Any? I, I have no comments. So this goes to a. Somebody makes a motion well, to suggest to or accept right. the public instructions recommendation for mm -hmm. here. Correct. And in my examination of the materials as licensure chair, um, I it seems to me that based on the review of the allegations presented, it seems that substantial reason does exist to hold a hearing for the issuance of a letter of reprimand regarding this educator license. I welcome whatever the board members may or have to say about that. And if, you know, following those opinions, then I'm prepared to make a motion. Or somebody else. Back to you. Back to me, uh, as, and I will accept a motion, please. I move to approve that the Board of Public Education conduct a hearing on BPA, BPE case number 2013-01. Yeah, before you, a motion is there second. Seconded by Board Member Edwards, aided by Board Member Carroll. One more time, would you read? Yes, I move to approve that the Board of Public Education conduct a hearing on BPE case number 2013-01. For clarification, that hearing would probably be at our September meeting, is that correct? Yes. Okay. Any questions? Any questions? Any comment? Hearing none, I will call for the question. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same side. Motion passes. And now, as is our way, I, I, I will call for public comment. And if anyone has any public comment, please step forward to the microphone and state your name and um, position where you're from, whatever information for our record. My name is Kevin O'Brien. I'm a parent and a past trustee of the Florence Carlton School District. And I thank the board for the vote that just took place. I just wanted to be here as a local resident to bring an awareness to the Montana Board of Education about the damage that has occurred in our district. It's created a lot of confusion, a lot of misunderstanding, mistrust, and I sure hope we can find a way through this to create better leadership for the education of our students, especially in the Florence Carlton School District. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. O'Brien. Any further comment? Any further comment? Any further comment? Hearing none, thank you very much. I know you got it very early to come here. And <laughs> Thanks for the opportunity. Thank you. And uh, as noted, you will be in contact with our lawyer. Thank you.